Good morning, grandkids. Let's listen to the aged dragonborn. Well, grandkids, I have a new book to read to you today. It's a little creepy, so get ready. This book is called The Third Door by Ananar Orm, whoever the heck that is. This is written in poetry fashion. I sing of Elbeth, the queen of the axe, who could fell a full elm with two hatchet hacks. She could rip apart Valenwood just for her fun. She studied under Alf Fidel in Tel Arun. He taught her the jabs, the strokes, and the stance to make an axe swing into an elegant dance. He taught her the barbed axes of the orcs bold, the six foot long axes favored in Winterhold, the hollow-bladed axes of the elves of the west which whistle when they swing through the flesh. With a single-headed axe, she could behead two men. With a double-headed axe, she could fell more than ten. Yet, where she lives in legend has most to do with the man who hacked her own heart in two. Ninalus Allworth, the mighty, who hailed from Black Rose, the only man who could best Elizabeth with axe blows. In a minute, she chopped fifty trees, he fifty-three. She felt at once that he was the only man for she. When she professed her love, Ninalus just laughed. He said he loved more his axe hand than shaft. And if there weren't enough to slack all his desire, there was another woman named Lauren Thire. Lauren Thire. Fury gripped the queen of the axe, the maid Elvin, and her thoughts turned to pondering musings of death. Mephala and Sheogora gave her a revengeful scheme, and for weeks she worked on it in a state like a dream. In the still of the night, she kidnapped her rival, and then told her choices between doom and survival. Lauren Thier awoke in a house in the moors, in a room lightly furnished except for three doors. Elabeth explained that behind one of the doors, the lass would find Elabeth's and her love, the great Ninalus. Behind the second lived a ravenous demon, and behind the third, an exit to freedom. She must choose a door, and to aid her decision, if she pondered too long, the axe would make a division. Lauren Thire wept, and Elizabeth felt contrite and opened the door to her immediate right. It led to the moors, and as she slipped through the gloom, she advised Lauren Thire to likewise abandon. Lauren Thire ignored her and did not feel her will bent. Ninalus was largely behind the first door she opened. Elabeth had lied. There was no demon of lore. The top third of Ninalus was behind the third door. Gruesome, gruesome. Yeah.
wrong with it? There was no one alive for either one of them. Okay, I shall put my book away and I will see you guys the next time. And I'll see what kind of a book I can find for then. Goodbye.